Hello everyone and welcome back to Chrono's Place Trails in the Sky 2. Today, well, we're done with the guild stuff, I think, for now. I might be missing something, but I don't think I am. So we're gonna go ahead and I think they wanted us to go to... Uh, do, 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 do. Where did you want me to go? They wanted me to go to the ticket station, right? Or something like that? I don't have a quest. Huh. Well, what do you know? Alright, where the hell's this ticket station then? Um, uh, landing port. I'll just go here and check then. Let's see. Yes, okay. Welcome. You're the group of braces heading to Zeiss, yes? Ah, uh, that's right, creepy man. We just got a word from Jean. The guild's already paid your fare. Would you like to check in now, or...? We'll have to stick around and wait for the ship to, uh, once we check in. You're all done in ruin, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. All right. Just a little bit of paperwork for you to fill out first, if you don't mind. Sure. Hmm, okay, no problem, it looks like. Feel free to make use of the port until the next flight arrives. Thanks, I don't know what we would do here. But I guess we'll make use of it. How do you, how do you make, you just bring in my own ship? How does that, that doesn't make sense. Is that the mayor? Or just the same, or none, mayor candidate. Probably just the same NPC palette. Alrighty then, off we go. Yes, let's. Hey, wait a second. Kevin? It's probably Kevin, right? No. Oh no, it's the kids. Oh no, it's Polly. The, the kids? What are you all doing here? We came to say bye-bye. Man, you guys are cold. Just taking off without saying anything like that? You guys are meanie faces, the worst kind. Miss Chloe, why do you have to go? Oh, I'm sorry, everyone. I was gonna I was going to say goodbye, but we thought you were all out. I get it, you're all out you were out coming to ruin. I feel kinda silly now. Hang on, though, that means Matron Treese's I'm glad to see you, or we made it in time. Oh yeah, it's uh, Dumbledore and the students too. Major Teresa, even Jill and Hans came. <laughs> well, duh. Like we'd miss this. We cut, we cut, cut it kind of close though. Thanks to the fact that you wanted to wait till the last second to keep it a surprise, Jill. Hey, all's well that ends well, right? No, no, not really, Jill. Actually, it was Jill who let us know you were leaving. I thought it'd be nice if we could see you off. Heh. <laughs> and pay no mind to the old man in the corner, you ignorant little children. Oh, sir! Hey, Estelle? I heard that Joshua ran away from home. How does everyone know this? Oh, um... Matron Teresa told us- Matron! Yo, what- Why? Why would you tell them that? I see. I'm sorry, I should have told you. No, they're kids. No, it's okay. Um, we'll pray that Joshua comes home real soon. And uh, we'll pray to Adias every day, I promise. I'll pray too. I'll pray to Satan. Oh, you guys. Uh, oh, children, thank you. I'll throw my prayers in the pile too. Estelle, Chloe, you two be careful, okay? You need, uh, you do need to uh, try your best, but don't overdo it and, get, and put yourselves in danger. If something happens to you, I don't think we'd ever forgive him. Oh, he'd ever forgive himself, yeah. Jill, Hans. Yeah, I'll remember that. Estelle, please look after Chloe. I know she seems strong, but she's still a little fragile in some ways. Mostly emotionally. M Matron, uh, I'm right here, you know. Thanks. <laughs> Leave her to me. I kinda, I'm kind of surprised she's going to be helping us out more than anything else. Well, Chloe... Use this as a chance to examine yourself and your desires. Don't fret, simply look for the answer you've been seeking. Yes, I will, thank you. Or I promise. Braces and students both aspire to the path of knowledge in their own ways. You two have grown immensely in the short amount of time you've been here. Always remember, you never run out of things to learn. Do not become so overconfident you forget to learn. If you remember that, there is no obstacle in the world that, you can, that can defeat you. Yes, sir. Sure. And that's good advice, actually. That's actually really good advice. 
Oops, whoops. See you guys, we'll be back, I promise. Everyone, take care. Be careful, guys. You better come back with some great stories and bring back Joshua as with you. I feel like the kids didn't need to know that Joshua ran away from home. I don't know. They're just kids, like, why, why tell them that? Why worry them? I guess it's better to be told than to find out as a surprise or something. I guess you could have said, like, Joshua had business to take care of somewhere, and we're just going to go help him out, maybe. I don't know. Not saying you should lie to the children, but at the same time, you need to know basis, and I don't think they needed to know. Oh, hi, Estelle. Taking a walk around the ship? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh, yeah, Chloe. What do you do when you need to get back to- what do you- what do you do when you need to get back to Gransel? Do you get the Royal Guard to fly you there? No, of course not. That would be a little obvious. I just use normal flights like anyone else. I usually go back twice a year, once for New Year's and once for Grandma's birthday. So you kinda... you're kinda used to passenger flight, huh? Oh, but what does Sig do then? Does he fly along at his own pace to the capital? Oh, uh, well... Sig, come here! Huh? I mean, he is a bird, right? Whoa! It's great. Uh, sorry, I'm just calling you for a moment. Well, that was a surprise. So Sig can fly, follow the ship. Cool. It's great. Sig can fly, can fly level at speeds of up to 800 slugs per hour. Most airship crews are, are at around half that. Oh, okay. So to Sig, this isn't much faster than an evening stroll. Oh, I see. Are we just moving really slow or is Sig really fast? I feel like you wouldn't be able to keep up a quick pace for maintain, like for a maintain a long like period, right? Because like even like hawks can they can burst really fast, like really fast, but they can only maintain that speed for like a short amount of time before they level themselves out. Kind of like a cheetah, right? Cheetahs are super fast, but they can they're not like endurance sprinters. They're like just fast sprinters. You really are better than- I'm bad. I might be wrong on that one, but I pretty much I remember here cheetahs can go really fast, but only for like a short period of time. You really are better than the average falcon, aren't you, Sig? Scree! Sig's speed is the reason he's so useful for contacting the Royal Guard. If for some reason I can't use powered communication, nothing in the country can carry a, mes a message faster than Sig. I thought so. I remember how fast he got in touch with Julia during that thing with the mayor. I guess that's true, but still. I mean, it is a fantasy world, so I shouldn't really be putting too much logic behind things. I mean, hell, I'm pretty sure I shot magic water out of my hand the last few episodes. Actually, I didn't have any- I didn't have any fights the last episode. Or maybe two episodes. No, 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 we had the boss encounter before that, I think. Actually, no. It has been two episodes since we've had a fight. Because we, we ended the chapter, we loaded the chapter, and, yeah, then we did that damn case at the hotel that took way too long. It's a good concept, like, I agree it's a good concept for the quest, uh, for a quest, but I feel like either I'm too stupid to have get it, or there was just too much going on, maybe too much questioning, for my taste anyways. I mean, eventually we got it, but it was me asking the same questions over and over and over again that got it. Estelle, enjoying our flight through heaven? Look, gaze upon the magnificent azure sky. Oh, but there's nothing better to drink. Uh, well, the weather is great and the sky is pretty, but... We're, uh, almost as ice, Oliver. Should you really be drinking? Oh, come now. Don't say that. Somewhere beneath the brilliant skies, my beloved Joshua. The pain he must be feeling in his solitary journey. I mean, he has three... Bandits with him. Such thus drive a man to drink, you see. Excuse me, but that is entirely and exclusively my line. <laughs> Sigh. At least things never get too serious with you around. I guess that's a good thing, kind of, maybe. I shall take that as the, as the highest praise. I'm relieved, however. Huh? The Black Fang. I had wonder if the words of the Phantom Thief had shaken you. I see I had no course, uh, cause to be concerned, however. 
You're... you have a will of iron, Estelle. Oh! <laughs> you're worried about me, Oliver. That's kind of sweet. Remember, I am a wandering bard and poet, ever in search of that pinnacle of human affection. Maidens in love shall find no greater ally than I. Um, well... Ah, please, do not... <laughs> I don't need a staffing today. <laughs> I promise I will not... I will not... I was not teasing you. I actually find your relationship heartwarming. Those new clothes of yours, for example, you purchased them because you wished for Joshua to see you in them, yes? You look excellent in them, though, I must say. Uh, th thanks! What's with the embarrassing compliments all of a sudden? Besides, Shara got me these clothes as a present. Joshua, well, maybe he'd like them a little. Hmm. What, what's that look? Ah, forgive me. Uh, that was more just... Uh, that was just more than I expected. Let's leave the topic behind for a while, then. Come, Estelle, I shall treat you to a legal cocktail. I guess it is a bit tempting, but we're nearly to Zeiss. I'll, I'll try not to drink the whole bar yourself, Oliver, or you'll pass out and miss our stop. <laughs> Don't worry. I only lose myself in drink when I'm poured by a lovely lady, or Shara. You realize that's not something to brag about, right? I mean, to him it is, I guess. Read a certain book. Band in Ebronia? <laughs> he probably is trying to push smut. Oh, pro okay, so it's banned for propaganda purposes. Okay. Hmm, okay. Yeah, because the Emperor and Cal Calvard, Calvard, they, they went to war with each other, right? That makes sense. Well, we're at war. Gambler Jack Volume 3. Okay. I mean, yeah, I have three of those now. I did check the shop before we left, so, yeah. I don't think I missed the liberal news. I don't think, anyways. I think I missed the first one the last, well, during the first game. There's a guy. I think that's the last party member. Should I speak with him just yet? I'll save him for last. We'll go talk to the the passengers because I don't know. Once we speak with the god, they might be like, "We're landing in Zeiss," or they might pull the opposite and it could be just time based, which would be kind of interesting, to say the least. Or there could be just another trigger somewhere on here. Anything down here? Uh, the answer is a forklift, but also no. no. I will watch my step. Thank you very much. Here. Oh, it's the captain's seat. Oh, these are new new crew. Okay. They don't exactly know us. Ba do 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 doot. Affirmative. What? <laughs> I mean, I sing along when I do stuff too, so it's not that surprising. Okay, I got it. What's up, man? Still, something up? Wandering around the ship again? Pretty much. I never rode airships much before now, so it's all kind of new to me still. Ah, uh, gotcha. Yeah, full braces do a lot of traveling, so airships are real handy. Heck, we probably use them even more than merchants and whatnot. Yeah, I remember how Dad was always out on business. I wonder how he's doing. Last I heard, he was made top general of the army, so I bet he's so busy it'd make your eyes spin. <laughs> just, just as hurts for the man who's always tried to take it as easy as he could. It is kind of hard to imagine Dad being busy somehow. I'm curious though, God. You seem to respect Dad more or less. So why do you always trash talk him so much? It's not trash talking, really. Besides, your old man's the one who's rude, you know. Every time he sees me, it's all good work or what a good kid treating me like some fresh-faced punk. Yeah, Dad does like to tease people. That's how he is with everyone, though. So I never paid much attention to it. No, you're kind of lucky being a girl and all. If you were his son, he'd probably be in the middle of a huge rebellious phase. Wait, what? You'd probably be in the middle of a huge rebellious phase right now. Uh, really? A father is sort of a wall for a son, a son to overcome, you see. Growing up against a wall the size of Cassius? Yeah, that's that'll lead to one hell of a complex, I bet. Huh, well, I guess that's more of a guy thing, but... Does that mean you've got a complex about my dad than a guy? Dot. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to pry. Ah, just leave it. You're just like your dad. <laughs> Aww. Who touched the nerve? 
Okay, so we're, yeah. So we're arriving. I'm not sure if we had to talk to everyone or just the party members. Probably to just the party members, but you never know. City of Zeiss. Ooh, I hope they have new ornaments. Oh, we're probably running into Tita, right? Isn't, wasn't she here and, uh... The Russell? No. Who's Russell? It might be Russell. Okay, first stop for us should be the guild house in Heron's Ice. We need to check in with Kilika. Kilika? What a rather exotic name and liberal. It sounds Eastern. What kind of woman is she, I wonder? You never give up, do you? Let's just say she isn't your average woman. She's bolder than Char uh, Sherazade, as capable of running a guild house as the queen herself, and she's a master of Eastern martial arts. In fact, word of advice, don't even try ye unless you want her to rearrange her face. Oh, now my interest is positively peaked. What are we waiting for then? Let us go. Oh, what the hell was that? Oh, earthquake. What? It, is this the fury of Kilika? Would you give it a rest already? It's an earthquake. Ah, uh, help. The dock is going to collapse. Run for your lives. Oh, Gerald. Everyone, please calm down. The port is designed to, uh, designed to endure heavy magnitude earthquakes. You can easily handle this one, Small. Please, don't panic. Okay, hot take. That's the organization testing on new gospel orbit, right? Probably. It, it stopped. <sighs> Thanks, Adidas. That's over. Everyone, please come to the reception in an orderly fashion. Let's not panic. Oh, man. It's been a while since I was in an earthquake. Hey, that was cool. Weirdo. You know, where I live, there's not many earthquakes. There has been few, though. Actually, in the last couple of years, I think there's been two here, which is actually quite frequent, because growing up, there was, like, one. So, yeah. Hmm. Who knows? <laughs> Hopefully nothing bad happens in the future. Well, that was a great way to be of getting uh, welcome to Zeiss. It wasn't very strong, but attention, world. Please wait until I'm not on scaffolding before you shake again. Love, Estelle. <laughs> I'll sign that letter, too. It's rare for us to get an earthquake in Liberal, though. Really? Hmm. Yeah, hell, I can't remember the last time I felt one. Let's get to the guildhouse and see what the damage is. Can we just get to the city? It's in ruins. So there was no serious damage to the central factory, thank goodness. The city has also remained calm for the most part. I believe there's a l there is little to worry about on the f at that front. Yes, I understand. Please continue to do what you can. Farewell. Your timing is quite uh, serendipitous. Jesus Christ, I don't even remember the last time I heard that word or seen it in writing. I imagine your welcome at the port was quite warm. Uh, yeah, kind of. It's been a while, Kilika. And as usual, you already know everything that's happened. Good to see you again, Kilika. Likewise, I'm glad to see you here. And you two would be Oliver Lindheim and Her Highness Princess Claudia, I believe. Or shall I say, Miss Chloe Rhines. I am Kilika. I handle the reception here at the Zeiss branch of the guild. A pleasure to, a pleasure to meet you two. No, the pleasure is ours. Oliver... My word, your beauty ex eclipsed what I've, e what, even what I expected. Madam, allow your humble servant, Alan Limheim, to improvise a song to... According to John, you're both officially registered assistants, yes? Assistants are free to use the rest of the, rest of the area upstairs, just as normal braces do. Real free to use it to relax, for meetings, etc. Thank you. Uh, yes, but my impro... If you wish to play your lute, you are welcome to play it upstairs. You do restrain yourself to reasonable limits, however, if you please. Uh, yes, ma'am. Wow, I think Kilika might be even harder on Oliver than Shara. Right, anyways. How are things looking in terms of work piled up? We do have some work posted, but nothing urgent at the moment. You're welcome to attend to it as you see fit. But, hmm. Huh? What's up, Kilika? You look like you're thinking about something. This is not a normal job, but a request from the guild. If your position, position as the group investigating the Society of Ouroboros... 
I'd like for you to check on something. Oh, in your position. Uh, what do you... Ah, this is a bit sudden. What do you mean? It's actually what you might expect. I want you to investigate the earthquake that just happened. Boom! Investigate the earthquake? You mean, like, go around asking about damage? Well, sure, but what does... Yes, well, that as well. However, three days ago, a similar earthquake occurred at Wolf, uh, Wolf Fort. It lasted about 10 seconds, and the quake was not strong enough to cause any real damage. Just like the last quake, we got great. That's one particular odd point, however. The earthquake at Wolf Fort did not affect the city of Zeiss. Wolf Fort is right around the corner, so yeah. Localized earthquakes. Wait, huh? Wow, that is strange. If I recall the map correctly, the Wolf Fort is not far from the city. An earthquake center there certainly should have been felt here in the city to at least, uh, to at least a small extent. It was a weak qu a quake, so it is possible we simply did not notice. Still, your friend is right. It does seem unusual, unnatural. I cannot help but feel a terrible sense of foreboding about it. No, I think we get it. Just like with our ghost, weird stuff like that makes me curious too. Anyways, sure, we'll take the job. Guess we should ask around the city and at the Wolf Fort, right? Yes, I'll be counting on you. Mr. Murdoch is already gathering information about the quake in the city, however. I expect he'll be thir uh, through... Uh, so you don't need to worry about... Oh, thorough. So you don't need to worry about the city. Okay, so off we go to the Wolf Fort. Well, ultimately, this is just my personal suspicion. Remember, it's nothing urgent. Feel free to investigate as you see fit while working on other jobs. Besides, I believe you are you have someone to say hello to, yes? Oh, um, yeah. We saw a new gospel, too, so we really sh Oh, it was Professor Russell, okay. So we really should go see Tita and Professor Russell. That seems like a good idea, yes. Let us delay our guild work until we say hello, then. No! Come, let us reunite with Tita with joyful hugs. When the heck did you take the lead? Ah, oh, whatever. Let's get to Gramps' workshop. Okay, so we get stolen sign. Uh, someone has stolen the Bryant's office sign. Oh. Okay, so that's from Tita. Uh, not Tita. Killica. Training assistance, Royal Army HQ. To Bracer Estelle Bright at Liston Fortress. We are holding a short-term special training program. As such, we like to ask the winners of the martial arts competition to participate. Participate. Apparently, I can't breathe today. New model gun, orbital gun test. Uh, recruiting testers for a new gun. Sure. Uh, Chaldea Tunnel Monster. And Trat... Uh, yeah, Trat Plains Monster. A uh, variety of abnormal status is great. And... Poison resistance. Okay. Well, let's go to, I guess, this shop over here. Arms and guards. Hi. What do we have? That's not an improvement. It's a 20 improvement. A 19, 22. And Tita's cannon, so she'll probably be showing up at some point. Hmm. Five agility lowered. I don't know. The defense might be worth it, but... Two agility, one movement, and two speed. Huh. Well, I guess I can... Do I want to get that? Because we're going to be testing an orbital gun, so I might be able to just go get that and then use that, right? For a little bit. And I'm sure, you know, there's going to be equipment in... The, uh... The tower. I forget what tower is nearby. That's probably good for a gut. And Chloe... Yeah, you know what? I'll buy three of these as well. I guess I can just, it's not that much money, right? They really did nerf the cost on these things, didn't they? Compared to the first game. Kind of nice, actually. But we didn't buy any equipment for Estelle. 
I did buy that for you. Probably get those clogs the... Oh, I should probably give him the Oliver, right? Okay. go and go let's see what are the difference here I... go oh, god no you yeah, don't use clogs at all good lord so let's stop by the orbital factory then or whatever this place is general goods oh maybe they have uh well not talk there but a liberal issue they do and you know what? I'm gonna buy. Ah, let's buy eight. That's a lot. Buy four. Sure. Oh, um, we'll buy one of these. Cause we bought like the cat ears before, right? Rents freeze. Buy one. Sure. Not cat ears, but we bought some sort of cat outfit. Yeah, this. Let's see what they uh, do on you. So we do this. Come in here. Get a cat suit. Maybe there's like an accessory or something. Probably. Who didn't I give my? Oh, you. I was going to say, who didn't I give the enhanced leather to? Uh, next up would be... That's the church. Oh, right. The Orbman place is actually uh, just the factory itself, too. Right, 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 right. Okay. Talk to you, shop. What do we got? We got food. We got three food. Oh, recovers 50 CP. Wow. Okay, where's the inn? Oh, it's right there. Literally right there. Come in here, see what they have to sell for food. Why would they have food here, Cronus? I don't know why they would have food here. Why do I think they have food here? Huh. I think I'm thinking of a bar. Which, not, that's not the exit. Yeah, I don't know. There probably is a bar somewhere, right? Maybe not. This is the church? Yeah. Alright. Well, let's come up here see if we can actually... Southwest Park. Oh! So we can't go to the Orman place. We actually got to go to the southwest part of town. Which I guess would probably be over here. But we'll do that next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, want to get my videos, so I can check out some of the content and see if it's to your liking. If you're into watching me live stream, head on twitch.tv slash Plays, Come on channel, follow to be notified when I go live. Either way, thanks for watching. Hope you all have a great day.